Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to today's video. A few weeks ago, I did a blue eye look using the ColourPop Twilight palette. Didn't do a tutorial, just did a look and came on, filmed, and showed you how that look turned out. Quite a few of you have reached out to me on social media asking me to do an eye look tutorial and how I did that blue eye look. So that's what we are going to be doing today. I'm just going to be doing my eyes and I will be doing the rest of the makeup off camera. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already prepped my skin. I am going to be getting my, trying to find it, my Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeshadow Primer. Just have to mention, I could not find this anywhere. Anywhere. I could not find this anywhere whatsoever. However, I did find, I'm trying to see if I can feel for it. I went into, uh, what's it called? Five Below. It's my second time going into Five Below. And they had the LA Girl Pro Prime Cream Eyeshadow Primer for $5. So if you are in need of eyeshadow primer, go to your nearest five below and you should hopefully find it. I'm not gonna use this today because I do want to finish out the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer first, but I had to just share that with you. So let me get some eyeshadow primer on my eyes. I'm just gonna put some on my hand here. This is nearly, like, nearly, nearly finished. Very, very, very grateful that I was able to find another eyeshadow primer. And I need my mirror. I'm going to use a mirror here. And I'm just going to take that. And I'm just going to blend that in. And you will be seeing me use a mirror because I am filming kind of far away and I wanna make sure I can see what I'm doing. All right, that is all blended in. I am just gonna grab what I need and I'll be right back to get into this tutorial. Okay, got the palette, the most stunning palette in the world, in my opinion. Let's grab a brush. I did grab a few different brushes here to use. So I am gonna start off with this brush right here. And this is the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And let me see what I'm going to use first because I gotta remember. Okay. I'm going to first go in with the shade, um, what is this, Invoke Capillary, right there, just to put some on my outer corner and my inner corner. Very important, you do want to, like I always say in all my videos, all my little get ready with me tutorials, tap out the excess. This palette does have quite a bit of kick up and I'm just going to grab my mirror and we're just going to, like I said, put some on the outer corner. Hope you can see me. I'm not used to sitting this far away and I'm just tapping that on and nearly poked myself in the eye. All right, I'm going to grab some more of that shade. And we're going to put some in the inner corner right over here. Just like that. I really hope you all can see me. I am going to grab a little bit more of that shade. And like I said, I'm just tapping that shade into my eyelid, just like that. And we're gonna blend this out now. I 
and I'm doing it very, very like light handed. Just like that. All right, we're gonna dip into the next shade. I am gonna put in the outer corner here a little bit of the shade B columns right there. I'm gonna use the same brush. That shade in particular does not have as much kickback as the other shade. And I'm just going to tap that on. I do remember I did use, I believe I used ice cold. This eye look might look a little bit different than what I did a few weeks ago, but that's okay. All right, what I'm going to do now is I want to go ahead and just do the same to this other eye. So let's pick up this shade here, tap out, grab my mirror. These shades are just so easy to work with, so pigmented. bit more because I need to do the inner corner here and after I finish this video I need to go wash and clean the brushes uh, my brushes are really kind of dirty I, the last look I did was the black smoky eye using the shade forever young so my brushes do need to get cleaned I had I did clean the ones I am using right now, but I do need to clean the rest. All right, I'm just, like I said, putting some on the outer corner and the inner corner here, and then we're gonna blend. We're gonna blend, blend, blend. Give me one moment. I'm just gonna blend this out off camera really quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did blend that out a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. What I want to do now is go into the shimmery gold, like, why did I say gold? Shimmery glitter shade Immortal. And that's what that shade looks like. It is really stunning. I don't know if you can see that. Wait, I think you can. I'm gonna take better swatches later on. So I'm just gonna use my finger for this and we're just gonna put it on the lower lid. I think last time when I used the shade, and this is what it looks like swatched on my finger compared to my hand, is I did wet a brush and I applied it that way. So let me see, oh, if you, nope, you don't really need to do that. I don't know if you guys can see that. She is absolutely, mm. it is such a stunning, shimmery glitter shade. I absolutely love it. It just, it goes on so effortlessly. You guys see that? It feels so weird, I must say, that I'm sitting so far back, but I, that I'm trying, I'm trying something new. Whew pigmented and just the perfect amount of that I you know you guys know I love my my you, you know I love it so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the same shade immortal on my finger and we're just gonna go ahead and put it on this eyelid wow I mean it goes on very beautifully it's very very pigmented you could, if you really want to, like use a brush, even wet your finger and, and, and try it that way. Next time I will try that. I'm not gonna try that now because really I'm quite pleased. Let me get some see. How well it goes on just as is. And I am gonna go ahead because I'm pretty certain that I did use the shade here, Ice Cold, 
trying to find a clean finger here. I don't know that you're gonna see that. I think I used it. I don't quite remember. Um, but I can definitely put some like in the inner corner here. So let me grab a brush. We are going to, this is not the right brush to use. I'm going to quickly just see, I'm going to pause for a moment and see if I have, maybe I can just look really quickly. Yes, I do have it. Okay. So I am going to be using the Luxie Brush 217 Pencil Brush. It is clean, so we're just going to go for it. I'm going to dip it into the shade Ice Cold, just like that. And I do want to shade that out. There's not a whole lot of fallout with that shade either, which is really nice. And I am going to look into the mirror here. I probably could have just used my finger, which we might just have to do that instead. Oh, I'm also like this. I have so many other shades in here that I really need to try out. That. I'm going to try to wet this brush and I will be right back. So this is how the eye look is turning out. It does look a little bit different than what I did a few weeks ago. You know what? That's okay. I'm going to just do a little eyeliner. I'm going to use from the shade here. I'm going to use one of these blue shades, probably the, the Collins, to do a little eyeliner into my eyes. And then I'm going to do the rest of the makeup off camera. So I am going to be using the Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush. Please ignore my fingers. I have eyeshadow all over my fingers. And I do think I am, like I said, going to dip into the columns here just to do a little eyeliner. And I'm going to dip into this other shade right here. Let me have in my mirror. And I have a little bit of cleanup to do. I do have a little bit of fallout, but that's expected. Not a big deal. I'm just gonna pick up some more here. I should have tapped that off. Of sh excess uh, eyeshadow. All right, I'm gonna go clean this up here and do quickly the rest of my makeup, and I'll be back with the final look. See you in a moment. So here is the final look. I'm gonna come up a little bit close. I will be sure to take some photos. This video will be going up tomorrow around noontime, Las Vegas time. So be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys will enjoy watching this video. If you did, consider giving this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, consider smashing that subscribe button. If you're curious to know what other products I use, be sure to check out my description down below. I will have everything I use linked there. And as always, I hope and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, everyone.